Hello and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for Monday the 11th of the 1st 2021. Lots of ones in there. Sorry, I've just thrown a card on the floor. I've got to try and pick it up. The Singer of Initiation. That makes a lot of sense because I was going to say there's lots of ones in that date and it's a perfect day. And if you can see that line that's going down there, it looks like a one. It's a perfect day to initiate something new. And that's what the Singer of Initiation has been coming in. And we did get that energy on the weekend of summoning courage, of summoning confidence, of summoning um, receiving self-love that's come through as well. The maiden has come in. And actually when I did the numerology on the date, it, it worked out to be four and four, which is also very synchronistic and leads to eight, which is, you know, a very good money for uh, money number, money, number for success. So I feel like a lot of you today is a perfect day or Monday is a perfect day to be starting something. So starting something new. Okay, so let's see. We've got the singer of initiation. We've got gluminous doom. Might not want to be at work because you're going to be one of imagining doing other things. Lasquana and the bodacious bodak. Wow, okay. It's interesting whenever, but under at the bottom, I'll just show you that the sage is holding, hiding under there. So there is wisdom here, but there is a sneaky energy coming through that's try, going to try and um, this is the energy of self-sabotage or people trying to trick you into not believing something or not believing in yourself really when it comes down to it. So on a very high 5D level or we have the singer of initiation. This beautiful high vibrational energy is asking you to open to receive the new energy that's coming through now for you that is going to help you lead you into new paths, new possibilities, new ways of doing things, starting something new. So this is a very pure and high vibrational energy coming through and it is, it's, it is, if you open to receive, and especially on a heart level, your heart chakra, wearing green can be good as well, or any kind of heart meditation that you know, it's very much an excellent, excellent energy for doing that. It is actually interestingly a number nine. So it's kind of saying we're still um, finishing off something while something new is beginning here. But there is, I'm feeling very strongly, you're going to feel this physically in your body as well you, there can be um, some healing particularly around the spine around the pelvis the lower back that kind of area as well as the shoulders the shoulder and any kind of stress or tension that you've been holding in there so this is lovely energy to come through like I said it's that energy is a very high vibrational energy so if you're caught up in the lower vibrations it's harder to connect to that energy and to sense it but it is there for you so Around the home we have the maiden and again, you know, the maiden is about, you know, a childlike energy of curiosity. It's it's the first st stage of our lives. It is everything's all new and wonderful. It is stepping into the new. It's also stepping, connecting to your inner child. It could be children around your home. There could be themes around connecting to children or connecting to your inner child and bringing joy around that. There's also uh, just being told that it can be children or uh, children's content or something related to children or something for you as a child or something your inner child is bringing in is going to has the potential to inspire you today to uh, connect you it, this energy is going very much helping you connect to this singer of initiation so pay attention to what your inner child is saying to you or your children or any kind of if you're working with children or anything like that it can be something totally synchronistic like I said that comes up that you might have nothing to do with children, but just something comes up and it's like someone from your childhood you run into or there's a message from a place that you used to um, go visit on holidays when you were a kid or something like that will come up. So that energy, if you can connect to that, that energy helps you connect to that beautiful higher realms. Now around career and finance, we have gluminous doom. 
This is not an optimistic energy. It's a quite a pessimistic energy. It can be related to world economies or it could be related to the stock market as well. But, you know, as a general energy, it, I get this sense of not wanting to be in one space because there's this heaviness here around having to be feeling a bit stuck some, somewhere because there's all this other, like I said, there's these two very um, different energies here. There's this beautiful higher vibrational energy here and then we have duminous gloom and that, like I said, you can get stuck in that 3D energy and not feel this. But he's probably, he could also be turning up because you're feeling this, because you're getting this sense of moving towards something new, starting something new, and you're feeling stuck in the old. So when he comes up, there is, it's it's asking us to say, what are we feeling pessimistic about? Where have we lost hope? Where are we feeling like we can't be achieving something? Where are we feeling stuck? And also saying, is this a permanent situation here? Is this something that we can move beyond? So it, it um, also shows you where you can be feeling negative about the future or negative about your ability to get out of a situation. So um, it actually what they're showing me is it there's a lot to learn from this card, this energy, because it will show you um, things where you can go, look, you know, I maybe I'm always fairly pessimistic about the future um, around me meeting a romantic partner and meeting the one maybe that I'm always thinking I'm never going to meet someone and it's kind of like what the universe wants you to look at is that you're manifesting that if you are bringing that vibration into it so you're bringing some sort of vibration but there's no judgment here that's what they're saying very carefully no judgment don't be hard on yourself it's purely to um, notice where your thoughts and energy is going and how that may be leading you down a path that perhaps you don't want to be going down so around love and relationships we have Lasquana and this is lovely because you can sniff the air the future of hope there's hope and optimism here with this card which is lovely this is where we pull ourselves out of the storm we pull ourselves out of uh, a, a time when there could have been a lot of turmoil chaos damage hurt you've been through something been through something that's taken a lot out of you and you've just managed to get to the other side and go okay now I can rest and now I've actually got the time and the space and the, the peace to be able to start feeling like there is an, a future illuminating in front of me. So again, there's the energy of hope here that's coming through against. Uh, it's what they're showing me is that, you know, after a storm, there's that moment where the, the light just the clouds open and that light, that beam of light comes through. Sometimes they call it like God's fingers. It's like this is just having a glimpse that there is there is light amidst all the dark clouds. So, and, you know, that's what we are seeing here. There is light amidst this duminous gloom, the darkness. So, yeah, it's um very interesting balance here. So here's this mischievous, mischievous fella. <laughs> the bodacious bodak coming in and this energy is the message from the universe and it's really saying look at the energy that trips you up look at the energy that tricks you and this is often uh, your own energy your own uh, giving away your power to someone believing something to be true when it, it not, not necessarily or allowing someone to lead you down a path or allowing the self-sabotage thoughts to come in. So he's got a bit of a trickster energy. It's also looking at deception around you. Uh, it can be highlighting people who are lying to you or deceiving you. It can be highlighting aspects of yourself where you're uh, kind of, you know, we all can go down that path of um not necessarily seeing the truth of a situation here. So he's a very tricky, sneaky little fairy. He will pop up when you least expect and kind of go, ta-da! And he he works very well with this Duminous Gloom. Pretty much he is uh, he's the boss and Duminous Gloom's just doing his bidding. He's going out going, 
oh, make them feel bad about this. Don't let them go up to that beautiful light. Let's, them, let's bring them back down again. It's the energy of wanting to bring you down and not let you remain hopeful and not let you connect and be open to this initiation, this energy that's coming through here. So it's, beca- it's important to know that there is a bit of a um, power struggle between these energies, between the light and the dark between the self-sabotage and this very high vibrational energy and this pure energy of the inner child. So to combat that really is, you know, we can see in relationship zone, La Squana is a good place to be. Um, so there's probably people around you that can help pull you out of that. Uh, and also your inner child, connecting to things that uh, made you happy as a child or just feel like, inner child is very wise and that's why the sage turned up as well we had the very old energy of the sage and the very new energy of the the inner child and these energies work well together they're almost the same energy that's what they're showing me it's it's actually exactly the same energy your soul and your inner child energy but they're just presenting in different forms and so these energies are working with you the um, sage is actually behind the scenes but he is there. They wanted that presence known. So that's that wise soul energy there that is helping you um, pull you out of this energy that and connecting you to that higher vibrational energy. So that is the energy of Monday, the 11th of the 1st, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.